slight delay on a return. Apologies for that. But as you can see on court, we have a two-love lead for the Dutch in white. Selina Peak and Afia Mushkins against Paula Lynn O'Banana, of course, and Eva Lee for the United States. And uh, the Dutch in white, uh, a form pair in Europe this season so far. Playing very well. Yeah. And their meteoric rise of the world rankings from a world ranking outside 250 in June. And they just got back together after Afia was out for a year and a half with a niggling shoulder injury. Right now at 27 in the world after wins at the Bitburger Open Grand Prix in the Scottish Open two weeks ago. Against the much travelled Americans, you'd know the Americans much better than me, yeah. uh, Alistair. I know these kettles quite well. Mm -hmm. Fame with these kettles in the morning. Mm -hmm. Nice pair, nice and. Uh, I remember nice them. Girls. I remember them in their time over in Europe, pre-Olympics, trying to get that last Olympic qualification spot. Tough, tough time for these two. You know, not uh, not making the Olympics and yeah. trying very, very hard to make the Olympics, and uh, in the end, uh, missing by one place for one the Pan Am place, spot. Yeah. So that's tough. But they've they've picked themselves back up, and and they actually they, they didn't even stop. They just continued straight after, and uh, yeah. and are. 21 in the world. Yeah. 21 in the world. I think. Uh, Continuing to rise. I'm trying to think who beat them for that spot. It was Michelle Lee and. Alex Bruce. Alex Bruce, of course. Who Five, <laughs> ended up two, playing in London Olympics for a bronze medal. Yeah. Quite rem remarkably. I think this must have uh, added to the pain yeah. that uh, Eva and Paula had to, had to process and deal with. But uh, I like what they're doing. They're. Uh, Right back up again and going for it. And just won the Pan Am Championships. Mm -hmm. And uh, very focused, I think, uh, already on uh, Rio. Okay. So that's that's the goal for the girls, Rio. Yeah. It must be. I uh, I haven't asked them personally, but... Uh, uh. Certainly the goal for the Dutch. And, uh, going the right way about it for sure already. Although, I'm not sure if the... Americans know it, but Afia is Seven. not well at the moment, suffering from a heavy cold. Had to pull out of the German league last week. But she plays singles at the moment because uh, we see Bishmeisheim singles player Olga Konen injured. Olga will be back in two weeks, apparently, for the next German league match. And Afia having based singles and doubles. Seven. Winning singles matches in the German league. So good start for the Dutch, 7-3 ahead. Slip up for the American pair uh, last week in the Welsh International, number one seats. They lose in the first round. Mm. Out very early. Eva using all of her racket there. Really sponsored by uh, Adidas. Carrollton haven't branched out into America yet. Getting my wrist slapped for my uh, mention of a... Nine. Yeah, no need to go on about it, Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the mark of a good commentator when you can make a little mistake and just uh, leave it at that. <laughs> Not dig yourself a bigger hole. I'm trying <laughs> to dig myself a bigger hole. <laughs> of course, Selena Peak already into mixed doubles final. Alongside Jaco Ahrens. <laughs> Certainly one of the big hopes for European badminton, let alone Dutch badminton. She's not too affected by her illness at the moment. A strong start in this game. Well, Afia is the one with the, with the illness. Selena is healthy. Although not too healthy when I told her that the finals are at 1 o'clock tomorrow and not 10 and she had a flight booked for, for uh, <laughs> past 1 or something. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have told her that before her semi-final. Hey, it's a good problem to have. Flight problems when you're already in the final. Well, I'm sure if she can win both mixed doubles and women's doubles, 
she'd be quite happy to book another flight with the prize money and the healthy bonus she gets from her sponsor because I'm the one that organized the contract so I know what she gets. And uh, That's blatant advertising. Didn't mention the brand, did I? <laughs> That's how you do it, Alistair. <laughs> Mark feeling agency services if anybody's interested. <laughs> so anyway, look, oh, back to all the serious side of it and uh, it's an 11-5 lead for the Dutch and um, as I said they are the form pair at the moment Selena spent a couple of years playing with Iris Cavalli got to a level and never really pushed on from there and then when Afia came back from injury they decided right okay let's try this partnership Afia was within a week or two weeks of giving up for good with her injury and some uh, personal issues that may have been going on of course you had the old issue I'm sick of talking about it at the stage the lack of funding and so on and so forth in the Dutch system she's kept at it I think the opportunity to play with Selena certainly uh, was a factor in that decision to keep going Oh, made the right decision to keep going. I think we can safely say. Down, but uh, not out. Oh, strong, pro strong play there from Selena. Very athletic. change of pace on the attack I just uh, don't think the same level of attack from the Americans it's uh, there's variety coming from the from the Dutch pair yeah. from pace like you say and that to me is going to be the difference I think y when, when you look at the Americans I'm watching them in 2011 and 2012 you know what's coming it's a booming smash uh, from both of them they hit it hard but with the Dutch they're able and have the ability to really mix it up in attack. See, and yeah. again, they are. 14, 6. More damage. Off to my right, my good friend Joa Matus, president, current president of Babington Europe. Is that right? Must be free food somewhere. Funny oh, man. I've not found any. Ah, there's a meal tomorrow night. That's it. Now I know why he's here. Rushing the net there. A little bit impatient, Selena. But they have a strong lead here at the moment, 14-8. Superb. Oh, great return of serve. So quick. The big difference for me is when, when the shuttle is up in the air, the Dutch have angles. They have a much, they have the power, but they have much stronger use of their wrist. Uh, Paula hits very hard, but it, it just doesn't seem to come down. Fantastic shot from Selena there. I think I'm quite confident saying there's plenty of people watching back in the Netherlands. I know Dutch. 
Babington community is quite large today and they're always tuning into whatever streaming they can. So uh, hello to everyone in the Netherlands. to uh, game point. Just 11 minutes. Dutch have rushed to a 29 lead. First game, First game won by double quick time, the Dutch 21-10 led that game, Alistair, from start to finish. No question who was uh, in control there. I, uh, I don't have many answers at the moment for the American pair. It's not quick enough, they're not sharp enough. Uh, th the weaponry that's coming at them uh, from the Dutch pair is very damaging at the moment. Yeah, and I just think the Americans are very one-dimensional. After one or two rallies, the Dutch know exactly what's going to come at them. And uh, whereas the Dutch, on the other hand, are keeping their opponents guessing with their attack. I'm trying to be careful in case the American pair hit me next week, but I have to agree. It's uh, I. There's just. There's not the threat of not knowing what's coming. It's it's coming hard, and it's uh, it's going to be somewhere in the middle of the court. The Dutch pair using the court a lot more effectively. I just I just think better use of the wrist as well. Sharp shots. seems to see the shot it's the problem that you face as well though when you can't have you can't get an angle on your own smash Eva smashed their pit back down at her it's better angles from Paula there Very hefty uh, back brace, yeah. Back brace, knee brace, everything held together with super glue. Facial expression certainly summed up that rally from her perspective. That's what that I love about Pete. Did you see the, you know, con very comfortable in the lifts, but then changing and turning defense into attack. 
very quickly taking advantage, I think, of uh, Eva's uh, lack of mobility, maybe across the middle of the court. Again, I feel Paula had to get onto that one quicker. Still picked up the point. No, didn't. Sorry, my mistake. Starting to find a rhythm again in this in game. Communication from the Americans. Relentless attack. A fight, but attack in the right places yeah. though as well. Always finding the spot where uh, the American pair can't quite seem to defend. Eight, two. This is starting to drift away from the Americans very, very yeah. quickly now. The hole is getting deeper. Again, moving Eva. Moving Eva around the court. Either uh, Paula has to be uh, quicker at covering that, I feel, or uh, Eva cannot be getting turned into her backhand. Out. Service over. Three, nine. you like turning into a route yeah. 11 three lead one set good in only 17 minutes play Dutch smiling between themselves having a look over at the compatriots playing in the men's doubles not even uh, much discussion between them nothing to change really they just need to keep going what they're doing <laughs> laughing and joking between them look I don't think they're under much pressure I don't think they're worried about uh, What's coming back over the net? Court five, 20 seconds. Court five, 20 seconds. Dutch always performed well here. The Irish international. Clean sweep of all doubles titles last year. Always walking away, getting get going back to Amsterdam. Play. At least a title. reason this year why they will not do the same certainly will be favorites in the women's doubles tomorrow but we'll come up against a tough pair if they get through this match of course it's not over yet See, that's that's the first time though I've seen the American pair do what they should have been doing from the start attacking moving forward very fast they have to turn uh, defense into attack It was very good play from Paula there. Finishing with a kill at the net. But again, not ready in defence. We're seeing a lot of this um, where um, the American pair are being moved very quickly around the midcourt and uh, unable to deal with the speed. The shuttle going in, getting into the back of the court 
and game over from that position. Again, good play from Paula at the net, showing good sh good skill, good assertion. Ng sisters already through the Malaysians to the women's doubles yeah. final. The Dutch, if they should make 15, it, already got two love head to head, but two love in recent meetings beat them in three games in the final of the Scottish Open, beat them also in the final of the Bitburger Open. So, uh, pulling that one wide. Across the net. Fantastic 16, net. Seen six. in the replay. Pulling it across. Quick feet and back across. Quick wrist. She is certainly heading in the right direction towards world class. Good power there from Lee. Rally from the American pair. Again, finding the inside hip of Eva Lee. Accurate smashing, but that's the least third time I've seen that happen. Certainly with the Dutch, they like to get on the attack. You know, it's not your typical women's doubles clear and drop type of game they play. A lift. Paula is certainly flirting with the roof here in the Baldol Babington Centre. Oh. Drive down the middle. Leaving both Americans staring at each other. It's all pear shaped. Seven. The Americans right now. This Really a thoroughly convincing display by the Dutch. Oh. Again, repetitively finding the inside hip of both uh, the American girls. Defensive weakness there being uh, routinely exploited. For the Dutch, of course. And That's again. It. Just 24 minutes, minutes out of certain, really. That's as convincing and women's doubles as we've seen this week. The Dutch are really being ruthless in their de demolition of the Americans. And they're continuing their uh, meteoric rise. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, men's, that's the final match of our transmission. Stay with us, we'll have a quick interview with the winners. Join us tomorrow for the finals here of the Carlton Irish Open from uh, 1 p.m. It's been my pleasure. Thanks to everyone uh, in transmission. Thank you, Mark. For their effort today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you and talking to you tomorrow.
Uh, many congratulations. And uh, really, did you expect it, Selina, to be that easy? No, not at all, because uh, we had a training week uh, before in Denmark. We played them and it was tough. Um, but I think we grow uh, enormously since then. So we are yeah, really confident and we play really well. So I think it was uh, almost a perfect match from our side. If you, what were the key points in that match, do you think? Uh, well, uh, the service situation um, in the first set, uh, sometimes it was quite equal. And then we made a big difference with service, uh, tell each other uh, what to do, one to the net, so the first three strokes, and that make a big difference. And sometimes we just want to play too sharp or make some points too quick. So we still need to be patient because these couples, it's just like defense, everything that, that's of course um, all good. So, but just wait until we get the opportunity and then just go. It's the old rival this stage in such a short partnership. These guys become, you know, your uh, arch rivals at this point. And uh, so far, you've got the 100% record, beating them twice, Scottish and Bitburger. But uh, you, you're going to expect a tough one from uh, from the, those sisters. Yes, uh, we watched their match against Mankir and Gilmore, and it was rally and rally again. So we need to be well prepared. I think we have a slight advantage because we won twice. But um, yeah, of course, we want to make it a hat trick, triple one. Um, I think we are well. We're in good shape, so um, I expect a good match. Such a good tournament here last. Always oh, here, so looking forward to taking a couple of uh, titles back to Schiphol. Here. Yeah, of course, always, always looking forward. And it's just, as we just said, it's going to be a tough match tomorrow. So we have to give everything and just see, just ready to, ready to do some good job. So. Thanks again for joining us, and uh, let's see.